Okay, brothers questioning how we handle or communicate or interact with people who are Muslims and they're involved in clear acts of shirk. How do we interact with them? Should we avoid them, stay away from them altogether? Uh, or uh, should we treat them kindly, still communicate, invite them to your homes, whatever? Well, you know, if we are <clears throat> Islamically obliged to treat the non-Muslims kindly, you know, who are involved in shirk also, uh, then surely a Muslim who is involved in shirk can be treated kindly also. And um, if we are to give them dawah, uh, you know, without having treated them kindly, it will be very difficult. If we have treated them harshly, our words are harsh, our actions are harsh, you know, then it, be, it will be very difficult to carry the message across to them. So just from a da'wah perspective, we know how Prophet Muhammad carried his da'wah. You know, following his example is that we should treat them gently and kindly. While still hating in our hearts what they believe. It's not that we are going to tolerate and accept what they believe in that sense, but in terms of our dealing with them, we make that distinction. Yes, invite them. Um, but of course, Prophet Muhammad has said you should only let those who are righteous and God-fearing eat your food. So you wouldn't do it on a regular basis, but for an occasion of da'wah, you know, you can do it. 